Hi, Julie Jones from SSB Performance, Smarter, Stronger, Better Mindset Training, here with this week's Mindset Made Simple Tip of the Week. And this week, we are talking about making a list. We all know who's coming and making a list. We still believe in Santa in this house, and that makes Christmas really, really fun. And our elf Jimmy has done a great job of keeping the big guy updated, and uh, we even had a Santa Zoom the other day, so we've been really excited. And, of course, the list was given to Santa, and apparently... Our son is on the good list, so all things are good in Akron, Ohio right now. But we're talking about different kinds of lists. I mentioned a couple weeks ago in a pressure tip about something that Serena Williams does when after practices and evaluating and writing out things that caused her pressure. Well, I took this one step further with two teams that I've worked with in the past couple weeks, two basketball teams. One of the basketball teams I work with had six healthy players. I said six healthy players. Then they got COVID. So they had very few healthy players and they're quarantined. They haven't played since November 23rd and they started freaking out, right? Who wouldn't? So I went in and, and, uh, and talked with them and, and we made two lists on our whiteboard right there in the classroom. The first list listed all the things that suck about being on a 20 day layoff from competition. You name it. It was up there. The other teams are out there playing. They're gelling. They're doing all these things. You know, we're afraid we're not going to be in shape. I mean, a whole list. And every single thing on the list was legitimate. All of them. They were all legit. We then went to the other side of the board, and we wrote down all the advantages to being off for 20 days. If you talk to my former associate head coach on a rain delay or whatever it was, I say, hey, no chance of losing when you don't play. Right? That's not really how we want to look at things. But there are advantages for this team in particular to being off for this amount of time. They have six healthy players. One of them had an Achilles issue. She got a chance to rest. Other kids are getting a chance to get back into the swing of things and come off of their injuries. There are lots of things. There are advantages. The scouting, they are watching. All the teams are playing. That is huge. So we took both lists and we looked at everything on each list. What can we control? What can't we control? What's important for us to focus on? What do we, should we not focus on? What about the things on the list that we think is a disadvantage? The thing about the other teams playing, let's talk about the other teams. If the other teams are playing, that means the other teams could be losing. They could have kids that aren't happy because somebody is not playing. They could have other injuries that are coming up. There's a lot of other things. There could be disadvantages for them, too. So just changing our perspective on some of those things sort of made us feel a little bit better. Then we went to the good list and looked at all those items as well. What can we do with the good things that can help us perform better? Number one, the scouting. Let's go back to that. We are getting to watch everybody else we play. What can we do with that? Tons of stuff. We can put ourselves in the game in our mind. We can watch everything they do, learn their tendencies, and then place ourselves in that video as if we're playing them. We can replay their sets in our head. We can replay their defense. We can play, play our offense against what we assume their defense would do, knowing their tendencies now. There are huge advantages. I then d took the same practice to a high school team with whom I work, and we talked about something a little different. We took all the things that suck about COVID and the restrictions and all those things that high school kids are going through. Then we looked at some of the positive things that have come out of all this COVID stuff. These kids are stressed, right? This COVID hangover is real. But just sitting and talking about how these things affect us, how we can change our, our perspective on them just a little bit, can change the way we think, which changes the way we feel, which changes our actions, which changes our performance, which changes our results. So in these two situations, where we looked at the advantages and disadvantages of being laid up or laid off for 20 days, or we look at the advantages, if there is really such a thing, and there can be, right, and the disadvantages of growing up in COVID, changing the way we look at those things, using our visualization tools, looking at what we can and can't control, all of these things play a role in how we perform because all of these things play a role in how we think. And thoughts 
become things. Changing to a more positive perspective is a good predictor that our performance is going to change in a positive way as well. So as you're thinking about your Christmas list or you're thinking about whether you're on the naughty or nice list, maybe it's time to have your team sit down and make a couple lists. I am not one to talk about how I feel. We never sat around and talked about how we felt with our team. That was a joke. We'd walk in and say, they'd say, what are we going to do? And my assistant would say, we're going to talk about our feelings. And everybody would chuckle and go on about their business. But in this case, listing the things that are bothering us and acknowledging them and then listing the things that can are good and uh, toward accepting them can help us move forward. So consider it. As you're making your lists, maybe think about having your teams make a list. And I hope you're on a good list, by the way. If you want to talk more about this or if I can help your team specifically, reach out, juliej at sspperformance.com. Look for more tips at sspperformance.com backslash blog. Until next week, have a great week.